So you mean to tell me, after all that crying that Jacob Frey did, mayor of Minnesota, all that talking he was doing about he understand how black Americans is going through so much and things got to change. After all that, some of the same people counseled them just the other day. Crazy. This is James Sutton, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's June 7th, Sunday, beautiful day, sun out, not too hot. It's like today got up to about 90 degrees. You know, for Vegas, that's cold, right? Anyway, man, did y'all see that, man? Did y'all see the uh, protest that happened, I believe, yesterday or the day before? And the mayor of Minnesota was outside. The lady asked him, was he going to take away the police department he said no nah, basically no nah. and they told him right after that i mean simon quick fast leave flipped him off now mind you this is the same guy the same mayor that was on tv boohooing academy award actor talking about how much he understands the struggle and everybody got a right to express themselves and this is the same guy that was at Floyd's funeral, crying right beside the gold casket. Everybody seen that. He was the only white man up there crying on one knee. Just the same guy. But no, nah, that wasn't good enough. Because as soon as you do something that people don't like, they cancel you. Period. Basically, it was just power that these people want. They don't want. They don't want justice. They don't want change like they say they do. They want power. And as soon as you give a person a little bit of power that don't deserve that, really no man on this earth should be able to think they can give anybody power in the first place. That comes from God. But just a prime example of how kissing up Kissing boots, bowing down, don't work. It's just going to backfire on you every time. So anybody who's listening to this, please listen to what I'm saying. Especially when you're dealing with a group like Black Lives Matter. Or when you're dealing with angry people in general. You can't please the, the spirit of the devil. He going to eat you alive every time. As soon as you eat, every time, this is what happens. You please, you bow down. I mean, this goes in general, right? No matter what color you are. You bow down, you please, you, okay. Okay, all right, I'll do that. You know what's going to happen the next rip? If you change your mind, you say, no, I'm, I'm tired of bowing down. You know what's going to happen? They still going to, what everybody using this word, cancel. They still going to cancel you. Prime example, look at the mayor. Another example, Drew Brees. Drew Brees didn't say nothing, nothing wrong, nothing racist, nothing about no black people at all. He just said that he, he, he uh, paraphrasing real fast, hey man, it's people who fall for this country, he got family who fall for this country, and, and don't just, you know, it's not good to dis, uh, 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 disrespect the flag. Now mind you, this is the same Drew Brees that a lot of people don't know has done so much for black people in America in New Orleans is crazy. Black people. It's the same Drew Brees that's donated millions of dollars to his own city throughout the years. Teammates jumped on his head so fast just because he didn't agree with what they were saying, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Wake up. Wake, oh, wake up. I heard Candace Owens saying, and I like her. I like the way she be said, like what she stands for. She's an alarm clock. Turn your alarm on. Set it so you can wake up. Everything you thought will not be like that. I, I, I just mark my words of what I'm saying. Black people, 
And I'm not talking about all black people. I'm talking about the ones that this pertain to. First and foremost, this is what we got to really learn to. Especially if you call yourself a Christian. If you a man or a woman to God, you know, and I, and I hear this a lot. I see this a lot. You know, people are so Christian. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll amen you. They'll yell and agree with everything you say as long as it fits into what they're doing or how they're feeling. And it don't matter. You can quote the scripture. Yeah, this is a spiritual fight. God did say we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. You know what I'm talking about? We, we wrestle against the, the spirit of... We, we can quote scriptures. And a lot of black people won't even care about that. They can go to church every Sunday hooping and hollering and still walk out of there and still have their own Bible here already in their head. And I'm not just talking about black people. I'm just, I'm, I'm addressing some black people that classify themselves as men and women of God. If we going to believe in that word, y'all, we going to believe in the word. We can't make excuses out here for people out here tearing up stuff going bunkers losing their minds trying to make a point because they're quote unquote tired that's not how you do that Martin Luther King made that clear a long time ago everybody forgot about that all, all these pro black people y'all forgot about that no y'all ain't forgot about it what it is is your anger then overcame your, your, your emotions is taking advantage of you so that's what you're thinking on. You're not thinking on logic. You're thinking on emotions. Come on, man. We supposed to be, if you're a Christian, we supposed to be those type of people. We supposed to walk by, by, by faith and not by what we see, right? And then I heard Al Sharpton say at the funeral, Ecclesiastics. I don't know if anybody read that, but if you haven't read it, it's a time for everything. Yeah, the Bible does say it's a time for war. It's a time for this. It's a time for that. It's a time for this. That don't mean this is the time to go to war, especially with your own people. And what I mean by your own people, I'm talking about if you a man, a woman of God, that should be who you are first. Not you being black. Not you being um, uh, 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 BLM. Or any group of uh, Republican or Democrat or anything. You're supposed to be a man or a woman of God first. And if you're not, then that's okay. It ain't okay, but that's what it is. But don't say you are and then act accordingly to something else. We got a lot of people out there saying, you know, we're doing this for George Floyd. And we're doing this because, because, uh, and, and using God's uh, name. And, and no, nah, don't, don't. You shouldn't even be using George Floyd's name in this because... 99.999 of y'all out there ain't doing not doing this for George Floyd. You're doing this for your own agenda. You made it clear. You said you're tired of police brutality. So it ain't about George Floyd. It's about what you didn't went through. Somebody you know that you, you didn't went through that you sick and tired of with a police officer or something like that. Common sense to tell you that all police ain't like that. I don't even know why anybody would have to say that. Just like when people used to say that about black people. Just because you see one or two black people acting up, all black people ain't like that. We we know how that feel more than anybody. So why would we use the same evil against somebody else? The devil has this, is orchestrating this, y'all. And if you can't see that, man, you're blind, you don't want to see it, or, you know, you're a part of the devil's crew. Good always prevails over e evil, always. And God said, if I can remember, we don't got to fight our battles like that. God fights our battles. All we have to do is trust in him. Remember that the next time you go out there and you, you, you pick up a rock and throw it through uh, somebody's business that has nothing to do with any of the stuff that's going on just because you want a microwave. Go love somebody. Talk to you next video.